Hello, everybody. This is Purdue Matt, and welcome to my first ever uh, Michael Deering's um, Minecraft Hardcore Challenge. I've decided to pick up the May 2015 Minecraft Hardcore Challenge. And before I start, uh, I just wanted to say that uh, I'm really excited about joining this community of uh, Minecraft parents who play with their kids and uh, play the game just for the sake of enjoyment. Uh, I think it's a great community and I'm really excited to be a uh, part of it. So I hope that you guys enjoy my episodes and I, I, I try to have fun with it. Uh, I, I, I have a lot of fun with uh, putting these things together with the kids. So I really enjoy uh, you guys and uh, enjoy your videos and I hope you guys do the same. So without further ado, let's get into Michael Deering's May 2015 Minecraft the Deli Challenge. Uh, this is Purdue Matt. Uh, my channel is Dad and Kids Play Minecraft or D&K Play Minecraft. I'll be playing this as a solo uh, adventure. Uh, maybe next month I might get the kids involved. Who knows? Let's see how it goes. But here we go. Let's let's get into this. So single player, we are going to uh, create a new world, and we're going to call this um, Purdue Matt MHC May 2015. Right, we're going to switch over to hardcore more world options. We're going to turn structures off according to Michael Deering's instructions, and the seed is May. 2015 MHC. So I've given a lot of thought to my strategy on this before I hit the go button. Um, well, not a whole lot of thought, but you know, I walk my dog at night uh, typically, and uh, that's kind of my alone time, my thinking time. <laughs> and for some reason, my last uh, couple walks have been dedicated to uh, this challenge. And um, now, historically, I've not had a good track record with uh, hardcore play, uh, I tend to get a little um, overconfident, let's let's put it that way. And so what often happens is I bite off more than I can chew, I get myself in trouble. Um, so what often I've done to compensate for that is I become hyper conservative. Now, considering the nature of this challenge, I actually I think a more aggressive approach uh, would be more appropriate. So I think I'm going to actually play a little aggressively on this map and we're gonna go we're gonna do a little to start things off I think we're gonna go cross-country to gather resources and then find a home so uh, we're not gonna f our, our my base is not gonna be anywhere near spawn uh, it's gonna be somewhere far off so we're gonna take off and the idea is to get a lot of food to cut to uh, make it so I don't starve and then we can concentrate on putting together our deli so here goes Let's create our new world. I think I've got everything at structures off. There's a seed. I am in hardcore. Let's do this thing. Here we go. And if the introduction of your video is to be believed, we're gonna end, we're gonna spawn right next to a bunch of animals on a plains biome. So let's hopefully I typed in the seed correctly. Oh, and I got my stopwatch here. Susus. Okay, there we go. Plains biome, as promised. Hey, and they're all my animals. Okay, great. So let's, before we do anything else, let's make some tools. Actually, we need some trees. Any trees around here? Aha. Okay, let's let's run over there, get those trees. Get some wood. Make some tools. All right, and uh, then we'll, we'll, I'll be back for you guys here in a minute. But first thing I need to do is get some wood. The inaugural punching of the trees to start every episode. Uh, and this is actually a really good starting point for this kind of challenge. Lots of meat uh, to get started. So I do not foresee any issues with starvation here early on, but... Uh, you know, I say that and <laughs> watch me starve day one or day two. So the last thing I want to do is get cocky in this game. 
So here we go, get in the wood. Acacia trees are always interesting to harvest because they never quite, never seems you, never seems you can get the whole tree without uh, repositioning yourself. So I hate leaving hanging trees. That's one of my anal retentive things. No floating trees in Minecraft. I just, for some reason, that uh, bothers me. Okay, so here we go. We're going to make some wood. Planks. We're going to make a crafting bench. There we go. And we're going to dig down. Oh, you know what? Let's make some sticks. For, oops. Sticks first. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Sticks. We're going to make ourselves a wooden pick for starters. Okay. And now we'll dig down and hopefully hit some stone. Here, there we go. There's our stone. And I'm going to dig out <clears throat> enough for a full set of tools and a couple of furnaces. So I'm already down a meat pop. That's not good. But the happy happily got animals nearby. All right, 17, 18, I think 24 blocks of cobble should set me straight here. And once we have some food, then we can go cross country and start looking for some resources. So I might make an extra sword. So let me get just a little bit extra here because I, I am anticipating doing a lot of slaughtering of animals. So let's dig our way out of here. We got what we need. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, where's that crafting bench? Okay, let's make our full set of tools. All right, we got a pick. We've got a shovel. Bang, bang. And now we've got an axe here. And now we'll make, let's make three swords. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. Hi there. How are you? Okay, for starters, we got a cow. All right, let's go on a rampage. <laughs> so, hamburgers. We've got some sheep, some veal, mutton, another hamburger. Now these, uh, this leather is actually also going to be very important for creating the item frames for our deli. So I doubt very much I'll be passing up any cows along the way. So. And I don't think that my strategy is going to be much different than everybody else's. I'm anticipating watching a lot of slaughtering going on the first few <laughs> minutes of everybody's episodes. So I don't think I'm alone here. Alright, I think I cleaned these guys out. Let's go back to our spawn. Oh. Uh... You know, when we start killing these guys, I'm going to make some charcoal and start cooking up some of this meat. So I'm going to say, oh, I can't sprint. I'm all, my hunger bar is already down far enough. What am I doing for time? It is noon. Okay. So crafting bench, get down. And we're going to make our uh, two furnaces plop them down and let's start cooking some meat okay maybe half of that should work okay guys mutton thank you I also imagine being able to kill passive mobs is going to be a welcome change 
from what I've seen um, from the other videos I've watched uh, this is probably a really good series for me to get my feet wet in this challenge because as I said I admittedly am not very good at hardcore I tend to die very early in these things so um, all right where'd my furnaces go now that would be embarrassing having lost my furnaces nope there they are over there <clears throat> Okay, so cut that a little closer than I would have liked. Wow. Okay, let's let's get our hunger bar back up. Uh, I'm not anticipating using a lot of this for my for our deli. Let's make some. Oh crud! I made all of those into all of those logs into planks, so I can't make any uh, uh, charcoal. For torches, so I'm gonna have to rectify that here shortly. But let's pick this up. You know what? Let's go ahead and s start moving. Let's get our stuff and go. Even though this is still cooking, let's just get let's get our wood. Are the chickens over here? Before I go, I want to make sure I get all the animals. I seem to recall there being chickens. No. Okay, but I will get the rest of these animals. If anything, I'll be able to eat raw meat. There doesn't seem to be... I don't think there are any rule against eating raw meat. We just couldn't count it towards our total for the challenge. Ooh, donkeys. Uh... Wouldn't be cool to have a horse. Um, maybe if I'm fishing, maybe I'll be lucky and get myself a uh, saddle. But for now, it doesn't look like I'll be able to... Actually, let's go this way. So my strategy is basically kill everything in my path. <laughs> ensure that... Oh, ensure that I not starve to death. And get what I need. Okay, there's some chicken. So hopefully I'll have enough food to where I can have enough left over. Eggs, 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 eggs. Gonna need those. So spare no animal. It's gonna be kind of a heartless series, I think. Did I get that egg? I think I did. All right, <laughs> the slaughter. Oh, the humanity of it all. Okay. Oh, there's a chicken. You're not gonna get away that easy. All right, let's get. Now I need to start thinking about getting under cover here, I think. All right, let's get some charcoal, some logs for charcoal. I think I'll just save inventory space. I think I'll avoid the birch trees. Let's go for the oak. Maybe I'll luck out and get an apple while I'm here. Uh, wouldn't that be neat? Okay, but we are flirting with disaster here. So I'm going to get under cover. I've got a lot of meat. Come on, can I get a... Come on, give me an apple. Apple, 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 apple. Anything on the ground? Nope, but I'm getting seeds. No. Okay. All right, so let's... Oh, quickly make some charcoal. Okay, now things are going to start spawning here. Okay, we've got that. We've got logs. Two pieces of charcoal are all I need. Ooh, I'm playing with fire here, buddy. I'm in a wooded area. Okay. Oh, get my shovel out. Oh. 
You know, I say I'm going to play an aggressive game, and here I am, like, jumping at shadows. Okay, you know what? I've got my charcoal. Let's, let's go. Let's get undercover. Alright. Because my priority needs to be... Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, needs to be getting some uh, iron now. So I can have... Uh, so I can get some armor. Alright, so. Now I can't see the sun, so let's keep that up. So I can make sure that I don't go too long. I am at 12 minutes on this episode, according to my stopwatch here. So I'm going to basically just do a beginner's newbie style mine here. And hopefully get some iron, get some coal along the way. Some other stuff. So normally I enjoy mining. I find it very relaxing. Though it doesn't make for great episodes when it comes to Minecraft. So normally, if I were filming this for a Dad and Kids episode, I would uh, skip the mining bit. So, okay, I hear skeletons, I think. So, but this is good. We've got coal. So we'll clean this out. Oh, so this is thrilling. I'm sure this makes thrilling watching. I suppose I could tell you guys a little bit about myself. You guys have been watching my dad and kids episodes, but uh, when I'm with the kids, I don't have a whole lot of opportunity to tell you about me because that would be selfish. But let's see, what else? What can I tell you about me? Well, I am. I'm an engineer. I live in New England, but I grew up in the uh, Midwestern part of the country, uh, near, uh, well, in the state of Indiana. I'll just tell you. I'm from Indiana. I'm a Hoosier. Uh, I worked for, uh, after gradua graduating with a degree in electrical engineering, I worked uh, in industry for about four years. Decided to go back to grad school. Uh, my company decided not to pay for it, so um, when I found out I really enjoyed research, I didn't feel uh, obligated to go back to the company because they didn't pay for my degree. So I went on and got my PhD, and now I am a college professor uh, teaching here in uh, New England. So I really enjoy working with undergraduates, uh, mentoring is one of my f absolute favorites uh, to do. Um, it also helps uh, you know, work, uh, kind of work my uh, public speaking. Oh, is that it? Okay, that is a, sorry. <laughs> Cavern, oh my goodness. Oh, I am directly over a ravine. Woo, ah. <laughs> How am I doing for iron? How did I get uh, 11 pieces? So that's enough for a chest plate. But you know what? Let's work our way this way, shall we? Ah, I sh you know what? I should have made another... Um, I've got about four minutes until... I'm watching to see if that when that ticks over to day one. Now, I'm not at risk of falling in. But I'm also running out of torches. Oh, but, well, you know what? I've got some coal. I can resupply my torches. Doing great for food, but I need to get, let's put this down. I need to get another, did I bring any of my wood with me? Ah, I didn't bring any. Left all my planks in the furnace upstairs. So 
I guess that's it. So I'll just mine until I break my picks. And then go up. Just go across here. There's one pick down. You know what? I could be... Do I have anything that I could use for fuel? Mm, uh, really? I could use a sapling. Use saplings. Here we go. We'll do this. We'll start my uh, iron smelting. There we go. Maybe make myself an iron sword. But my priority really should be a breastplate. Because I don't want to be messing around with no creepers. Because, uh, as I said in my recently posted uh, Minecraft uh, Museum Challenge, or Hardcore Museum Challenge Plus uh, video. Uh, without any armor, I'm pretty much a one-hit kill for a creeper. All right, keep my eye on that. Uh. Now, I, if I can, I iron. Can I mine iron with with a? Well, it's I guess it's a moot point now. I was wondering if iron would actually work with. So all those all those uh, saplings got me one ingot <laughs> of, of iron smelted. Uh, what am I talking about? I've got coal. Idiot. All right, there we go. <laughs> so I can do it. You know, I'm going to... Let's see, I've got... Uh, I've got... I can make myself an iron, iron sword and a breastplate. I think that's a good idea. I'll save the... I'll save the... Stone swords for my slaughter of animals got eggs. I'm going to need those. Normally I just chuck them when I'm playing. Alright. Uh, okay, we've got a few. I think we've got a few more minutes. We might be able to get this uh, uh, armor in and this before I have to end the episode here. So I created a, uh, a scorecard to go along with my efforts here. Um, it's just in my my nature to, <laughs> to, to do that kind of stuff and so uh, uh, here's the scorecard if you'd like to take a look if you like it and would like to use it for this challenge just let me know I'll be happy to share it with you uh, I'm not in this thing to win I'm just in this thing to have fun all right it's still day zero according to this but I think I'll use this uh, scorecard, that scorecard, to uh, kind of keep track of my progress in this challenge and see how many points I can get. So, all right. I hear a skeleton. I've got some armor, so I, th I don't think I'm any longer a one-hit kill for a creeper, but I think I'd like to do a little better than a uh, breastplate for iron. So we might do a little spelunking, some surface mining as we go cross country. I think I might just keep going. Oh, did I? Okay, so if you apparently if you punch a furnace, you don't get the furnace back. That's okay, I've got enough furnace up there. Furnaces are cheap. So, oh, it's day one. So here we go. All right, well, it's been great. Uh, I've got to cut it off here because it's now day one. So uh, thank you for uh, watching and uh, enjoy your own adventures and uh, uh, enjoy my adventures with me. Until next time, ciao.